Hey, good morning and welcome to today's upload. My name's Emma, make sure you stick around. Each week I do hauls, we've got Cusco hauls, Poundland hauls, Home Bargains, Primark, all that kind of thing. And I also upload weekly vlogs. And today I am back with a Poundland haul. And also, I've got my nails painted. It's rare for me to hold things with painted nails. Um, if you watch my boots haul, this is the blue. I put it on last night. No chipping so far. <laughs> Let's hope this does not get chipped during the course of the video. So I popped in two pound, one of the biggest ones by me. Um, and I found some lovely bits and pieces. I've mentioned before over on my vlogging channel that for the summer holiday, I have the children by myself for six weeks, which is fine and it's great and we have loads of fun, but you need to be organized. So I've started to get some bits and pieces. We are going away on a couple of holidays, um, British based holidays. So I've got some stuff for that as well. So let's dig in. The first thing, kids can go and have parties, face-to-face -face parties, um, you know, like outdoor events. So um, the kids have been invited to some, which is really exciting and so nice because they haven't been able to go for like 18 months. So in Poundland, they had a great range of Disney gift bags. If you are new here, I'm looking and I'm laughing because I've got a big box there, which is filled with gift bags because as we know the golden rule is you don't write on the label for the gift bag because part of the gifts the gift bag so they can reuse it and I reuse all of my gift bags but I needed just a couple of kiddo ones I've kind of got like Christian ones Father's Day ones Valentine's Day ones but I needed some kiddo ones so I got this Mickey Mouse one they also had I think it may have been Ariel really nice super nice quality and also got a Marvel one as well. So looking forward to using those and the children going out for some parties. Ooh, right, so let's dig into my bag of fun. I have used these before, and these are for Stephen and I, and these are the exfoliating tea tree and peppermint foot peels, and they're only a pound. So I there are I think there's just one thing that's not a pound, and I will let you know when that's that's that so these are the little foot peels you put on you sit and you relax so like you leave them on for an hour and a half so Stephen and I'll watch a film with these on be careful if you have to go to the toilet because walking in them <laughs> gets a bit slippy and then after a few days the skin um peels off your feet Stephen um it, it, last time it was weeks for Stephen <laughs> skin peeling off but I want to get my toots is nice for those saltwater sandals when I go out and about on my little holidays. So I picked Stephen and I one of those. This is a Gently Does It Super Soft Cloth. It's a pack of three. And Erin has two pet rats. And I thought this might be quite nice to put in their little cage. They've got like a hammock. And I thought this would be quite sweet for them to lie on. So um, we'll probably do maybe one of those a week and then and wash them see how they get on with it i'll keep you posted i picked up these for the garden so we will doubtlessly as we are still you know in the current environment be having a lot of play dates outside and i thought these were really cute glasses like plastic cups for the kids to drink out of and not even need to drink out of really nice pims in that they had loads in this range. They had plastic plates. They had um, like uh, plastic cups, all sorts of things. But I thought those little little wine glasses would be quite fun for the garden. Okay, so if you are new here, you might not know. Every year, the kids and I do well. The kids and I watch them every year. We do a scrapbook. I've already bought the scrapbook. I got. Um, them for 75p each from Wilco's and what they do is because next year Erin's going to be 11 so I do wonder if she might stop uh, when she gets to secondary school we'll see we'll see or maybe it'll take like a different a more creative kind of thing that she does as she's getting older but what we do is we get like um say for example we went to the farm for a day we'd get like a little leaflet or we might buy a postcard if we went for a play date they draw a picture of the play date and then i always make them up some sticker packs 
So two for a pound. I thought this would be really good because we're going on a cruise. So we've got some like ships and stuff they could put in that section. And then also they've got some emojis. And what I will do, I'll do a video on how I get that set up um, and all the stickers and everything ready for them to use. I will do that in a few weeks. So you can perhaps do it with your children. I think I start, I think this might be, I feel like this might be the fifth year we've done it, perhaps. So I keep them in their memory boxes um, and then when they're older they can look back on what they did in the summer holidays or I can look back on what, what we did in the summer holidays. So yeah, super cute. There was some card games and as we are going on British holidays and as we know, it might rain. Picked up a couple of packs of playing cards. They can have one each. They love playing cards with their dad and also they had Shopkins Top Trumps. For a pound they had a couple of different packs of those and actually that makes quite a nice little present so erin was super keen to get those she doesn't really play with shopkins anymore oh a few years ago it was like the big thing she loved shopkins they both loved shopkins but they love top trumps so thought that was really really fun we got some felts for a pound which will be great just to pack in our cases to take on holiday with us so they can just do some colouring um, and they'll share them like if we're going on a long car journey we can just have this little box and they can just do some colouring. I bought a couple of Disneyland colouring books from Asda which I will show you when I do my um, what I'm taking to Disney Cruise Hall so they can use that for that. I got a few more stickers, some little stars. They have quite a good Crayola section if you're looking for some crafts for some children. Um, they always have some good Crayola bits and pieces and the stars they look nice and their scrapbooks as well. Okay, Armbands, Ethan is currently learning to swim. He, obviously he started when he was, he started when he was six and he was doing, you know, at the start of last year and of course, he couldn't go swimming anymore but he started back swimming lessons he's doing really really well he does um you know he can jump in he can put his head under the water he can do like a little bit of doggy paddling but we still perhaps need our bands for this summer i would imagine and then hopefully next year he won't need them anymore so just picked up a little pair of armbands he chose the pelican ones there was like i think flamingos as well oh i got a few of these actually so when I travel with children, I make a little activity bag to keep them occupied. I was going to say to keep them quiet, but to keep them occupied <laughs> when we go away. And I like to put a few Disney treats in if it's a Disney holiday. And I saw these little Disney blind bags, Toy Story 4. So I got them one of those each to put in their bag. These are also really good for reward charts. They're also really good if you're having parties for party bags. I thought they were really cute. Um, they have got some miniatures in Poundland at the moment. So I picked up a miniature toothpaste, a couple for our holidays. Um, always good to have a little miniature to hand if you're planning on going away. More stuff for the rats. This is going to go in their cage. They have a few dog toys which they love. They like having things hanging down and ropes and and then every week when I change the rat cage I change all the toys around so they're all in different places so they'll really appreciate that. So I've got that from Poundland as well. This is the £2 item. So I have used this on my Insta stories a lot. It's Airwick, it's Woolite um, Fabric Refresher. 24 hours of freshness and it's a wrinkle releaser. I'm not entirely sure of the wrinkle release aspect of it, to be honest, but when I put change the sheets, I give everywhere a good spray and it smells beautiful. Um, I bought one, didn't I, a few weeks ago and you were saying be careful about spraying it on the floor in case you slip over. That was nice, but it's just not as strong as this one. This is cotton fields and magnolia. It's really, really nice. Uh, we have the dog and the dog is currently sleeping on the couch at night rather than the bed. <laughs> She's just decided the couch is her. Sometimes she comes upstairs, but she tends to stay on the couch. So we need the couch to smell nice and fresh as well. So really recommend that. It's £2. I think you could probably get it in home bargains as well. Not, 
not seen it for a while. So that was really good. Um, Stephen has been using a skipping rope to exercise. So I picked up a skipping rope for the kids because they like to do it with daddy. But daddy's skipping rope is quite long and I'm a bit worried about them skipping and then tripping and then bonking their head or breaking their nose or something. What else have we got? Last couple of things. Uh, just got some go-ahead bars. Poundland's always great for little kids' snacks and sweets, but we didn't get any sweets this time. We, we steered clear of the sweet. But, um, I mean, we won't be going on planes, will we? But when we can eventually go on planes, it's a great place to pick up, like, sucky sweets, you know, so when your ears pop and stuff. Um, oh, I can't wait to get on a plane again. Wouldn't that be nice? And just pooting around the airport and, oh, Oh, I've got a lot to look forward to. I just picked up a few packs of chewing gum. I'm going to keep one in the car. You know, it's chewing gum in it. It's a bit of fresh. I've talked about it before. Um, I find having your mask on all day can sometimes make your mouth taste a little bit funny. I find it a little bit like, ugh. So I'm going to pop some in my bag and then if I have to have my mask on all day, it tastes a little bit nicer, but yeah, it's a bit grim. That, is that TMI? I think possibly. And the kids are going on a Cubs kind of adventure day soon. And Erin's got goggles, but they said they need, you know, Ethan hasn't got any. I'm sure he has got some somewhere, but we just can't find them. So we got some goggles for him as well. Kids love them goggles. Mine tend to like... I didn't wear goggles when I was younger. We just swam and then you'd come out and the chlorine would be in your eyes and you'd be like, ah, my eyes. But <laughs> they want the goggles and also they usually just take them off, throw them, swim to the bottom, pick them up, wave them, throw them, swim to the bottom, pick them up on repeat until eternity. So there, there we go. So there we go. There is some little bits and pieces for the summer holiday. As I said, I'm going to be doing very soon what i'm taking on the disney cruise i will do a come back pack with me for family holidays i'll probably do like a how i keep everybody entertained in at the summer um let me know if there's any other kind of videos you want to see i know not all of you have children or are interested in anything to do with the kids so i'd love to hear what you would like me to do we'll be popping back to costco at some point in the next few weeks as well so thanks so much for watching this video i really appreciate all your support on here um before be sure to go and check me out on instagram i do like daily stories and all sorts of bits and pieces on there i love you lots give this video a thumbs up and a high five if you subscribe and i will see you very soon bye guys